everyone, Dan from BMW Sudbury here again, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the 2022 BMW Alpina XB7. So this particular one is in black sapphire metallic. It's a nice metallic black. And you can see our LED laser lights, which are standard on the XB7, as well as the X7M50. You see those blue accents there, which are pretty cool. We also have our LED fog lights down here in the lower portion of the uh, front bumper. And it's an Alpina specific front bumper. We have the Alpina badging there in the middle, as well as our sensor for our radar uh, cruise control. You see our chrome kidney grills there, and they are active kidney grills. Those shutters can't open and close depending on the cooling needs of the vehicle and the speed you're going for uh, aerodynamics. Let's come around and see our optional 23-inch wheels. 20-spoke wheel in a signature style of uh, Alpina. So see our Alpina blue brake calipers behind there as well. And come on the side. 23-inch wheels out back. rear three-quarter view here. Let's see our signature oval exhaust tips that Alpina always uses. Our XB7 badge as well as Alpina. Cool, so we'll take a look underneath the hood. The Alpina XB7 has a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. It makes 612 horsepower, 590 foot pounds of torque. And BMW claims a 0 to 60 of 4.0 seconds, and it'll probably go a little faster than that, which is pretty incredible for a vehicle that weighs about 5,800 pounds. So, definitely some incredible performance from this vehicle. Interior. So this XB7 has our uh, black full merino leather. So the full leather actually gives you leather in the lower portions of the doors. So you can see the stitching. And then also the full leather dash, so you get the top parts of the doors as well. This one also has the Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround sound system. And also the Alpina piano black trim. Seats, merino leather, that quilting pattern. Pop in. So in the interior of the XB7, you can see our Alpina specific steering wheel. So this steering wheel is actually in the Alpina Lavalina leather, so it's even a step softer than the merino leather that the seats are, which is definitely a nice feature of all Alpina models. And of course your Alpina badge. And you have our buttons for our driving assistance professional. So you have all those extra buttons there for your semi-autonomous features, as well as your media controls, heated steering wheel. You'll see our Alpina specific theme for our live cockpit professional. So right now we're in sport mode. If I go into comfort mode, you can see the gauges turn kind of back to blue with some red accents. Then sport. See, they kind of turn green. It just kind of turns green underneath where the needle is. Here we see actually our totally stitched dash. So the top and the lower portions are stitched with leather and your, with your full leather option. And we see our piano black trim as well as our glass controls. So you can see that X in the middle of the shifter. A cool touch and the Alpina on the iDrive controller. And here's our 12.3 inch center display, That's standard on all X7s. iDrive 7.0. And of course, standard on the XB7 as well is our head up display. So you can see our speed limit and 
as well as our speed, navigation info, and media info can show there as well. And this Alpina badge, this being the Alpina Piano Black trim. And we'll also have an Alcantara headliner in the whole vehicle, going all the way back to the third row. And you see these, this pattern in the glass right here on this moonroof that actually lights up with the color of the ambient lighting in the vehicle. So they call that the uh, LED Sky Lounge. So that's standard on the XB7. You can actually see the extra speakers, part of the Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System there, those tweeters. We're gonna take a look in the back seat. More of our black merino leather. We also have our side shades are kind of hidden in there, so those can come up on both sides. Here we just have our floor mats, so those are included with the vehicle, of course. So this one has the second row bench seat. You can option for captain's chairs as well. Here's our third row. And you have controls here, as well as the cargo area to control the third and second row. USB type C ports. And we have our AC controls for this uh, second row passengers as well. We also have a moonroof for the third row passengers, which is cool. And we take a look in the cargo area. Let's open up both portions. Here's actually little rear pillows they can be used on the second or even third row seats if you wanted. Those just kind of snap onto the headrests. Here's controls for your third row. So if you hit these, it'll actually put down both third row seats, fold those down. You have all that space, and this cargo cover can come out as well. And these buttons right here are for the second row, so you can control that from the back as well. And close. So if you have any questions on the Alpina XV7 or any other BMW for that matter, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks. See you in the next one.